you know, at, at Sideshow we're willing to kind of risk. And, you know, not so much on, you know, our, our business, but our creativity. And we're willing to take some pretty immense chances sometimes. One thing that I'd like to kind of just, you know, sort of interface with the collector on is that notion and say that, you know, look, as fans of these properties and these characters, in the same way that the collectors are, we really want to please. But we also know that sometimes you've got to do something different. You've got to stretch the boundaries of how you're going to interpret things. What I really wanted to impress on the design and development teams was this idea that when you are working with these characters, don't feel like you are starting the process in a box where the only real answers to the design problem is going to come to you from screen grabbing the DVD or, well, there's this picture or there's this scene. It's take these characters, which in many cases, the reason why we are even involved in some of these properties is because the characters or the themes in the film have kind of risen well above the source material itself. And I think that when you take a look at it that way and you say, look, we're not really about being a three-dimensional Xerox machine. We're really about taking some chances, taking some risks, exploring the characters. There's a process in which you sort of review reference and you review your design ideas and you review, you know, where do you want to go with this? And sometimes the most unusual things that sort of send us off in a direction. And I know that this is the type of thing that, you know, the collectors often, I see questions of like, what, what were you thinking? Or why was this what you went with? In just as many ways as people that are like, oh, bravo, thank you for taking this here. We love the fact that, you know, you guys are willing to sort of bend the character's interpretation a little bit or the, or the rules of the character. Because I think we do it with a sense of respect. There's certainly times where, you know, maybe we've misstepped and we've stepped a little too far over the boundary. But I think that's that comes with the territory. You're gonna take some risk. You're gonna put yourself out there. Sometimes that's gonna happen. I think in our history, the number of times that we have struck the right chord is in great disproportion to the number of times that we haven't. And you know, sometimes I have to kind of talk to the crew and, and even sort of, sort of meditate it on myself and say, you know what, sometimes these design sort of flubs or failures, however you want to look at them, are actually the, the success of them is the fact that something comes out of it. Whether it's the notion of, well, let's not ever do that again, which I think is on the smaller side of it. I think it's the sense of, you know what? The one thing we missed was this thing. And sometimes it's the collectors that point it out to us that say, hey, you know what? We get what you were trying to do, but you needed to just turn it a little bit this way or, you know, just tweak it X, Y, and Z. And, you know, we take that and we take it back and it sticks with us and it, and it becomes part of, I think, what you would call a designer's sort of collective consciousness and a design team's collective consciousness in the sense that this builds a library of foundation for designs that are to come in the future. So even a project that we do where, you know, when we're done and we kind of have to say, all right, let's move it to becoming a product and producing it, we have to sort of step back and say, well, what we've done is what we've done. And, you know, we register our own responses to it. We register the collector's response to it. And this shapes where we take our adventures in the future. You know, my hope, my honest, genuine hope, is that the energy and the excitement that we bring to the exercise comes through to the piece and that the collector, it resonates with them. And I think that's where our success has been, that we've been able to create that relationship. It doesn't always happen. And I think that, that those failures are what actually help guide us to the successes that are further out on the vista. And I think that, you know, we're always gonna be this way. This is, this is just the sideshow identity. And I think that this is a part of the magic of exploring popular culture icons that are from films, from comic books, from just the world of imagination. And since the world that these things were all born in was open and didn't have limits, I think that's what makes the source material incredible. So to not come to the process with some sense of how the original was created to sort of create an interpreted evolution of what's been done with the property, I think is a mistake. And I think it's the one thing that we will probably never be labeled as doing. We're always going to be adventurers. We're always going to risk. We're always going to dare. And I think from that is where the, the best products we can bring to the collector 
are going to come from.